Well, we begin tonight with a scary incident at an elementary school in Roseville. Good evening to you. I'm Carolyn Clifford and I'm Dave Llewellyn. Thank you for joining us tonight. A student found pepper spray on the playground at Steenland Elementary and started spraying other children. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell talks with parents and the superintendent in a story you'll see only on 7 tonight. Alan joins us live to explain Alan. Well, Carol and Dave, as you can imagine, parents were pretty upset and frustrated and furious. They immediately took to social media about that incident that happened here around noon at this playground behind me here. Several children were affected by that pepper spray, but we are told they will be OK. But parents say there needs to be more school supervision to prevent something like this from happening again. Full panic, like just crazy. I don't even know how to feel right now. My main concern was what if it would have been a gun? Parents are upset after finding out their children were pepper sprayed by another student on the playground at Steenland Elementary in Roseville. My son told me that the kid took the pepper spray and started spraying it everywhere and it got into some kids' eyes. Parents were contacted immediately by school officials after the incident happened. The superintendent says the student did not spray the pepper spray directly at other students. Students affected were also let go from school early, but parents are concerned and feel more needs to be done by the school. My problem is like, where is a 10 year old getting pepper spray from? What's going on with the supervision? Superintendent Mark Blazkowski telling 7 Action News they're not sure how the pepper spray got onto the playground and says the school principal handled the situation thoroughly. Blazkowski also says student safety is their number one priority and the district looks at situations like this to help teach kids to make good decisions and keep students safe. Action needs to be taken not only talking to the parents, but talking to the students also on protecting themselves. What if they do find something like this? If another child sees somebody doing something like this, that action needs to be taken. And tonight, as for Mary's son, we're told he is doing a lot better. Law enforcement will not be getting involved with any type of investigation. And the superintendent wouldn't tell us whether or not the student who sprayed that pepper spray will be facing any future disciplinary action. Reporting live tonight in Roseville, I'm Alan Campbell. Carolyn, back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Alan.